Hi everyone. This video demonstrates how to edit bibliographic data in WorldShare Record Manager. This includes adding, deleting, editing, and moving fields, viewing and editing guided entry fields, using mark field help, reformatting a record, and validating a record. These are skills that you will need to edit existing WorldCat records, as well as to create original records to add to WorldCat. We'll also briefly look at final actions you would take after editing a WorldCat record. So let's say I want to add this audio CD, music from Ireland and Scotland to my collection. So I'll need to find a record in WorldCat. I've signed into WorldShare and selected Metadata and then Record Manager. In the basic search area, I selected bibliographic records for the data type and all WorldCat for my search scope. And I selected the keyword index to try a search using the number I found on the back of the CD, which might be a UPC number or a standard music number. My search retrieved three records. I can see the second record is the music CD and it matches the item I have. I can click the title or I can click Edit Record to see the full bibliographic record. The record has a subject heading for Folk Music Ireland. I want to add a subject heading for Folk Music Scotland. The tag, indicators, and subfield A will all be the same as the existing heading, except that I want to add subfield Z Scotland. Rather than typing everything in the new field, I can copy and paste the existing field and then just edit subfield Z. To do that, I'll place my cursor anywhere in the field that I want to copy. Then I'll go to the Edit menu at the top and then to Field, and then I'll select Copy. Next, I'll click the green circle with the plus symbol across from the 505 and a blank field opens below that. Then I can go back to the Edit menu and to Field and then select Paste, or I can right-click while my cursor is on the field, and then select Field, Paste. Note that you can find many of the commands on the menus using the right-click of your mouse. Since the subject heading I copied was controlled or linked to its authority record, I need to remove the controlled heading link to edit the field. So, I'll right-click and then click Controlled Heading and select Remove. Then I'll delete Ireland and type Scotland after the delimiter Z. I can control the heading again with a right click, selecting Controlled Heading, Add. If I decide that Folk Music Scotland should come after Folk Music Ireland, I can click the down arrow to move it down. I could also use the up arrows to move a heading up. To insert another field, I'll click the green circle again. This time I'm going to add a 530 field. There are blank indicators, so I'll tab over to the first subfield and type, also available as a digital audio file. I've placed the 530 after the subject headings, but I'll put all of the fields in correct tag order in a moment. I can also copy multiple fields at a time, by clicking the checkboxes to the left of the tag. For example, I want to copy the 336, 337, and 338 fields to use in an original record I'm creating for another audio CD. So I'll click the checkboxes and then on the Edit menu, I'll select Copy. Then I'll open the work form for a new WorldCat record that I've started. I'll click the green circle across from the 300 field to create a blank line. Then I'll go to the Edit menu and select Field, Paste. And the three fields have now been added to my work form. Now, I'll go back to the WorldCat record I was editing by clicking the record number in the left navigation. To sort fields into numerical order by mark tag, I can reformat the record. Reformat sorts variable fields into the correct tag order. The 006 through the 3XX fields are sorted by all three characters of the tag. The 4XX through the 9XX fields are sorted by tag group, but the input order is preserved. 
Reformat also deletes fields that contain no data. I'll go to the record menu and select Reformat. The system confirms that it has reformatted the record, and you can see now that the 530 I added appears in the 500 tag group above the subject headings. Guided entry allows you to select values and coded fields from drop-down menus rather than manually typing data. Guided entry is available for the leader, the 006, 007, and 008 fields, and for the 336, 337, and 338 fields. To use guided entry, click on the triangle symbol next to the field to expand it. You can edit most elements using drop-down menus, for example, target audience, form of item, and so on. For some fields, you will need to type in a value such as for accompanying matter. When you've finished editing the guided entry field, you would click Done to save any changes or you could click Cancel. You can access Mark Field Help for the guided entry fields by clicking the question mark next to the element. For example, I'll click the question mark next to accompanying matter. Bibliographic formats and standards opens in a new browser window with instructions for coding that element. To use Mark Field Help in the variable fields, right-click in any cell of that field. For example, Let's say I want to check the indicators for the 505 field. I'll right-click and then click Field Help and then select Mark Field Help. And again, Bibliographic Formats and Standards opens in a new browser window with the input standards for the indicators and subfields as well as explanations and examples for that field. When you have finished editing a record, you can validate the record. Validate verifies the validity of tags, indicators, and subfield codes. It confirms that all required fields, such as the 245, are present, and that non-repeatable fields, such as a 100 personal name main entry, appear only once. It also validates the structure of some fields, such as the 020, and the relationship between some elements. Validation occurs automatically when you replace a WorldCat record or add a record to WorldCat. But you can also manually validate a record. To manually validate a record, go to the Record menu and then click Validate. General error messages display at the top of the record, and specific error messages will display below each field where there's an error. I'll correct the second subfield code in 300, which should be B rather than V. For the 511 field, the second indicator is undefined, so it should be blank. So I'll delete the second indicator. Then I will validate again. The system confirms that the record has been validated. Depending on your purpose for editing a record, your final action might be to set holdings in WorldCat to export the record, or you may want to save the record to your online save file to review later. Or, if it's a new WorldCat record, your final action would be to add the record to WorldCat. And if you are editing an existing record and you want to retain the changes on the WorldCat record, if they are not just local edits, but applicable to anyone accessing the WorldCat record, then you would choose Replace. Specific guidelines on editing and replacing WorldCat records are available in the help documentation and in other training. Lastly, I want to point out where some of these actions can be found on the Record Manager menus. To set your library's holdings in WorldCat, go to the Record menu, choose Set WorldCat Holding, or if you are a WMS library, you'll have the option to set Holding Audience Level. The export options will be on the record menu. Select Send to, Export List, or you can send directly to your local system via TCP IP if your local system is capable of that and if you've added your settings and user preferences. You will also see the option to send to the label print list. On the Save menu, you have the option to select Add Record to WorldCat if it's a new original record. You also have the option to select 
replace bibliographic record, which as we said, will make the changes permanent on the world cat record. Finally, there is the option to select save in progress record to add the record to your institution's online save file. If you need additional help, please visit help.oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region. Thanks for watching.